Hello everybody, so we're looking at here is an 820-4924 MacBook motherboard and as you can see it is burned to a crisp. This is where the power is supplied for that haptic feedback element of the trackpad. There is a fuse located in between the power supply for the trackpad and the trackpad connector itself and the purpose for this fuse is to ensure that if there's any sort of fault that the fuse blows before everything burns. This is a fuse between our power line over here and our trackpad. Typically the purpose of a fuse in most products is to blow prior to there being any sort of serious damage. And one of the, the criticisms that I often get is, well look, there was a little bit of liquid damage over there so it just kind of ate away at the pin over time. You can't possibly say that Apple doesn't specify the fuse properly that they're putting there because that's liquid damage and there's a little bit of junk on the connector and that, you know, and that ate away at it over time. Fine. But what's really interesting is when you have a board that does not have liquid damage and this is what occurs to it. Paul, can you show us what the other side of the board looks like? And right under the board where it's going to be going to the other, oh my god. So this went through the entire board. It not only ripped the layers on one side, but it ripped them on the other side as well. Wait, that's a hole, isn't it? That's a hole. So when you peeled off that layer, that this actually blew a hole straight through the board. Straight through the board. Straight through the board. Wow. As you can see, we are several layers down into the board here on this mess. And I'd like for Paul, my uh, main technician over here, to just show you what the, in the resistance is on that fuse. So Paul, would you be able to put that multimeter into view and, and measure that fuse for us so that we can see if it, if it uh, blew and did its job? By the way, everybody, say hi to Paul. He has a date today for Valentine's Day, so he's a... Uh, look at that fuse. Look at that battle-worn fuse. So, y you were in the Marines, correct? Yes. Now, what were some of the radio models from the 40s and 50s that are still being used? Oh, the, the Angra 39, the... Uh that thing, that was the bane of my existence. The ANGRA 39, that thing was fucking awful. In your experience, what is more durable? The Angra 39 radio from the 1940s that's still being used today, or a fuse on an Apple motherboard? That Angra 39, we could use that to pound tent poles into the ground, and it still works fine. That or a fuse on an Apple motherboard? What's more durable? I think the fuse on an Apple motherboard would beat the shit out of an Angra 39. Engineer different. That's it for today, and as always... I hope you learned something.